my name's Maureen. Some of you might know me from Kenilworth Playbox, or um, I've just written a play called Dancing Bear and the Hunter in the Stars, which some of you might be in. Um, and I've brought my very own dancing bear. This is Stella, and she's going to help me read you a story tonight. Um, a story called Christopher Nibble, all about a little guinea pig. So Stella, would you mind holding my book? Thank you. And if you're sitting comfortably, then I'll begin. If there was one thing Christopher Nibble loved more than football, it was eating dandelion leaves. He ate dandelion leaves at breakfast time, at lunch time and dinner time. And if Christopher felt peckish between meals, he ate, you guessed it, more dandelion leaves. But it was not just Christopher who liked dandelion leaves. Mr and Mrs Nibble liked them, his sister liked them, his friends liked them. And in fact, every guinea pig in Dandeville loved dandelion leaves. Munch, 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 nibble, munch, nibble, 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 munch. All day long, the happy sound of munching and nibbling filled the air until, that is, dandelion leaves began to run out. Dandelion dishes were taken off the menus. Carrot and lettuce wrap on a bed of um, uh, cabbage leaves. Dandelion cabbage soup. Cabbage and broccoli quiche. And dandelion drinks disappeared from the shelves. Dandelion juice sold out. The last few leaves could be brought on the internet for a huge amount of money. Bid now! Organic juicy dandelion leaf, size approximately 12 by 3 centimetres. Soon the worst thing imaginable happened. Oh, look how sad they are. All over town, the dandelions had been bitten and munched to nothing more than bitten down stalks and the guinea pigs had to make do. Oh, with chewy cabbage instead. Oh, look at all these flies. I actually love cabbage though, but I'm not a guinea pig. Just one dandelion was left, but nobody knew about it, except Christopher Nibble. It happened to be growing right outside his bedroom window. Christopher's mouth watered at the sight of it, but he knew he mustn't eat it or let anyone else eat it. Not if it was the last dandelion in town. Come to think of it, it might even be the last dandelion in the whole world. He thought hard and decided to go to the library. Quiet, please. He borrowed a book called Everything You Need to Know About Dandelions. Everything you need to know about dandelions. And he read it very carefully. He found a little cloche to protect his dandelion. And every day he watered it and picked off the bugs. Mm, delicious. Every day he was very good about not taking even the tiniest, littlest nibble while he waited and waited and waited until finally his dandelion had grown the most beautiful white head of tiny seeds. Very gently, Christopher picked it and carried it all the way up Daisy Chain Hill. And when he reached the top, <sighs> He had just about enough puff to take a deep breath and <gasps> blow! The seeds filled the air and landed gently all over Danderville. At first, nobody noticed, but soon the new plants started to sprout fresh leaves. Can you see the little popping up in the grass. And in no time at all, Danderville was filled with the happy sound of munching once more. And as for Christopher, he still loves playing football. Nibble, munch, nibble. But now there's something he loves just as much as eating dandelions. Christopher loves growing them. 
can you see where he starts with his little seeds and they grow tiny leaves and they get bigger and bigger into flowers. And here are all the happy guinea pigs munching to their heart's content. What a lovely story. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a lovely sleep. Night night. Thank you.